Howdy, how's it going? Um, it's Wednesday, I think. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit cold, and uh, still got me old one of my old beanies on. But uh, I did mention I'd be back with a with some stories, and so I just remembered one this morning. When I was doing my apprenticeship uh, for upholstery with Smith and Browns years and years ago, I was about 15, 16, 15 maybe. Uh, one of the guys that was working there as a an apprentice, uh, Peter Gregg, he played in a band called The Mockers. And they were playing all sorts of pop stuff, you know, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, Herman's Hermits, some cruddy stuff. And uh, yeah, just a mix of stuff. And uh, he must have heard me singing one day along with the radio and asked me if I'd like to go along an audition, which I did. And I got the gig as their singer. And we used to play the Tammy Yacht Club. St. Helia's Community Centre, and we do uh, Christmas uh, gigs right through Christmas period in Fongaparo at the Fongaparo Hall and down in Oriwa in competition with the Blue Stars. We had some incredible times, and there's a few things that I remember. One was on the road down uh, through Fongaparo, there's a dairy on your left hand side, and there's an old lady in there who used to make the most amazing scones. So we'd go there for scones, jam and cream, but also there was a massive big um, container uh, beside the shop and the whoever used to deliver fresh donuts, fresh bread at the most unearthly time of the morning. Um, and so we found out about this, it had no locks on the, on the doors uh, at all, and so we would go there and load up with all of the donuts and fresh bread and whip it back to the Wade River Road where we were batching while we were playing up there. So that's one thing. Man, those donuts were absolutely amazing. The other thing was we had a batch down the Wade River Road where we would uh, stay, a whole bunch of us, the whole band and plus. And um, there was a um, there was a donkey that used to live in the valley. This was years ago, and the road through uh, to Wade River was all gravel. And our batch was about halfway down the road toward the river. And um, we'd party hard and do all that sort of stuff. And one night, we must one of us heard the go uh, heard the um, <laughs> one of us heard the donkey. Uh, doing his, doing his hee-haw, and um, so that was it for us. Every night, we'd wait till about three or four in the morning, and one of us would go out on duty and stand out on the uh, on the back lawn and call out down into the valley, <coughs> and we'd set the gu set this um <laughs> we'd set this uh, donkey off, and he would start. E whoring and he wouldn't stop till six or seven in the morning and nobody knew who was setting him <laughs> setting him off it would drive people down the wade river road absolutely crazy uh, it was all fun just all fun okay see ya